me just getting ready for you guys. It's Tuesday. Wait, is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. I never know what day it is. Anyways, I believe it's Tuesday and it's two o'clock. Therefore, and ergo, we're live. Ugh. My that was falling out, but I got it. It's fixed. It's fine. So... Let me find the video. Oh my goodness. Am I live? I am live. Okay. Well, I'm trying to find... There we go. Found y'all. All right. So, I know I said I would do this with you guys on Friday, but I'm going to go ahead and do one today so that you guys can kind of note what uh, materials you're going to need if you want to do this with me on Friday. What's up? Debbie and Diana, how are you guys? How is your, what's today? Tuesday? See, I forget instantly what day it is. Instant. So, this is what we're working on today. What's up, Delica, Clara, Laura, Taylor, what's up? So, I'm going to do a crack geode with you guys. Uh, Jeff is in the background printing things. What's up, Stephanie, Diana? So, before I do that, I want to show you guys. I did more donuts yesterday. And I got a new glitter that I am checking out. But I want to show you guys the new glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Look at that glitter. How crazy is that? Of the glitter? Know it? So it's just one shade of glitter that um, I put over three different colors to see what would happen. And it looks like this. Hey, Holly, Melissa, Lisa. Looks good enough to eat, right? I'd eat them. Um, and then I did a couple other ones. This one's just with glitter glass on it. My kind of diet. And this one has that glitter on it and some other glitter. Anyways, just wanted to show y'all that while I was thinking about it, but I'm going to be ordering some of that glitter soon. All right. Oh, and I have this little one too. Fun. So now I need to draw out some shapes for our geode. You can kind of, okay. Okay, thank you. Moose, thank you. Um, this will kind of end up looking like a tortoise shell. I don't even know if you guys can see the shapes that we're doing on this, but I will... Be outlining them in a darker color in a moment so you guys can see them better. Sorry about all the racket. Oh, it's maintenance. So, I'm 
the big thing about this part is making your edges curved. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, you can't really see it right now, but I fixed it myself. Thanks. You get the stuff for under the sink? Okay, good. So I'm rounding my edges. Um, because that's what I've seen, that it's, they're not ever regular, they're rounded. So, you can't really see it, but I'm about to make it more clear what goes on. So, I keep hearing a cat over here. Girl cat, what are you doing? Are you stuck? Okay. Oh, you are, you have stuff on your feet. Let me see. There you go. You good? All right. She had contact paper on her little girl foot, but we got it. So now I'm going to take some hot glue and just go over these lines. Trying not to put any hot glue strings over the piece because that will interrupt how your inks flow. but you can easily just rub those off. And um, we're gonna be going over this with gold paint, but if you are using um, gold hot glue, which they make, then you can save yourself a step. Oh, it's not out. I thought it was. Claire already knows how this goes because she was with us when we did one at Rhonda's. I always forget when to put in my other stick of glue. Word on the street is that you can put your hot glue sticks in the freezer and it'll stop it from doing that, those hot glue tails. I don't know if that's true. Have you guys ever tried that? Did someone lie to me so that I would put my hot glue sticks in the freezer? I mean, probably, but also maybe not. Also, if you like doing stained glass looking pieces, this would work for you. Okay, Bowie. Hold on. He wants up in his chair. I know, Bowie. Hold on. I feel like when he does that, he's like, Bowie, don't wait for nobody. Okay. Almost done, Bobo. Hold on. Man, I got a string. It's fine. I know it, Bowie. Just hold on. Uh, 
Um, you can look at references to figure out what shapes you want or just draw out different types of irregular shapes. It's nature. It's a rock. So just about any kind will work. Hold on. Okay, impatient. Your seat's ready? He's like, well, good. Just like that. Are you happy, mister? Mm -hmm. Pretty eyes. He's like, I mean, I guess. You could have helped me out sooner. What's up? Uh, are you sure you got the right side? Uh, no, but thanks for reminding me. Oh, babe. I think I did. I think I did. So this paper is finicky. So now that masks are coming back, everybody, um, you might want to get yours. Just to let you guys know. We Those are just ordered. Okay, so I got all my little corners rounded. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Now you can kind of see everything. Thank you for reminding people to hit the like button and share with people you know, even the people you don't like. What's up, Rumple? Welcome back. Dances. Melissa, you tried your first geode. A little disappointed with it. I'm debating on posting it in AD, ATD. All your colors ran its hot mess. Well, sometimes that happens and you can just post it in the group so that people can see what you're working with and if they can give you pointers. I don't know. I always like posting in groups to see what people think I can improve on. But if you're not ready for that, then hold off. Definitely don't want to pressure anyone to do anything that they're not comfortable with. But when you're comfortable, we would love to see what you're working on. Sorry, those corners weren't rounded. Do you guys see the big geode table that um, RK3, myself, and Clara did? All right, next thing you're gonna need is some isopropyl alcohol. This one is 91%, the higher percent, the better. And I'm just putting this in a cup on the side and I'm gonna use it to manipulate my design around. And then I need something. Paper towels. Oh, for me, I can't put my fingers in there. People are gonna wonder what I'm talking about. I'm sorry for the crunching. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Paper towels. Huh? What is that? Is that box? Man. Okay. I am so glad you're here, Lord Taylor, and everybody else. Lord Taylor, I love your husband. Sure. I need I need one of those. The uh, I'm 50, I do what I want, or I'm a grumpy old man, I do what I want. <laughs> Goodness. Um, you received your order today, If Walls Could Talk, and you're so excited to get started. Well, let me know if you need any help. Hello, Megan. Um, gearing up with these inks over here. So I'm just using some synthetic brushes. Don't use anything too expensive. I like the cheap synthetic ones because I can kind of wreck them a little bit and make the bristles separate. And that's how you can get some different lines. So the colors I pulled are a shocker, my go-tos. I'm going to make this one rainbow. Hello, Catherine in Canada. Uh, you can use whatever colors you like. I'm just 
gonna, gonna go with rainbow for this one. Um, so let's get started. Oh, I need a brown. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I need a dark brown. It's the only color I did not grab. Caramel's not that dark, is it? Dark oatmeal, that sounds brownie. Okay, let's see what this looks like before I get... <laughs> I can't. Yes, I can. No, that'll work. Okay, so I'm using that and rich gold for the crevices or the outside edges of my geodes. If you're using uh, a metallic or anything that might settle, make sure you shake everything up really well before you get going because you want to have all the fun parts, right? Okay, step one. I'm going to just put some of this dark brown in some of the crevices along with the gold. Where did my pipette go? Man. I promised I was prepared. Oh, here it is. And some gold. And then we pull out the alcohol. I hope I like that dark caramel color. Where's the other one? Regular caramel. That might be too bright. If we don't like this, it's fine. We'll just wipe it off. Let's just let this one set for a minute and see how we like it. I think I'm gonna do one with just a dark, what is this? Spectrum Noir. I don't know, the color is BP7. So I'm gonna try that with the gold and see if we like it better for our dark I think I already like it better. Okay, this one's a winner. We're gonna just forget the brown one. I'm going to add some Copic Fuchsia. For some brightness. A lot of times with alcohol inks, you just have to let the inks move on their own. See what they're going to do. And this is why I like the synthetic brushes. See how it's splitting right there? So when I use it, you'll see that, that gap in the fibers. I didn't put any movement in it, so I'm just going back over it. with the, the ink that I picked up. Okay, we'll see how that one dries. In the meantime, let's switch to another one. 
I think we'll make this one yellow. We can really clean this brush out from all the pink. Okay. Now we're using LY1 from Spectrum. Okay. Um, I think you guys are asking what I prepped the board with. And this is actually a special paper that I'm working on ordering for you guys. It's like a porcelain base paper. I just used a spray adhesive to put it down and it is just magical somehow. But I'm working on getting some to carry for you guys. But it is a porcelain paper. The lady that I'm getting it from, her daughter just got put in the hospital. So my order's slightly delayed. But I'm working on it for you guys to make your ink life easier. That may be too light of a... geode, but we'll see what happens. We'll let it live for just a moment while we move on to a different, different one. That's kind of the great thing about these papers is that you can kind of just let it be. And if you don't like it, just wipe it off and move on to the next one. So... The next color I'm using is Spectrum Noir BT8. I make it look so easy. Honestly, that may just be because I work with these materials every day. But I think that just goes to show that if you work with your craft and explore what the mediums can do and take your time that anyone can make it look easy. You just have to kind of work at it a little bit. Explore your style. And kind of be unapologetic about your style. So I'm going to put some petroleum blue from Copic. Petroleum, huh? See, I don't know what Girl Cat's getting into over here. It sounds like paper. Jeff has tuned me out. Girl cat, stop. I just said she's getting into paper or something. Um, and she's got some contact paper on her foot. She's by the window. She keeps wanting to get in that corner. Sweet, that one looks pretty good. Right. So these are my main three colors, a fuchsia, a blue, and a yellow. Should I do some that are, I guess maybe the middle one should be a little bit of all of them, huh? My concern with that is things getting um, muddy. So I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this without getting mud. So I'm going to put some blue where the blue one is, some pink in front of where the pink one is, and then some yellow in front of where my yellow geode is. 
Let's see if we can do this without making just a puddle of mud. Maybe we'll get a little purple right here. Maybe a little orange right here. Maybe a little bit of green in the middle, ideally. So far, not the cutest look, but let's see what we can do to fix it. All else fails, add more color. Blue, and a pink. I'm gonna put some alcohol just in front of it to try to push it back into what we already have going on. We try to make some irregular lines a little bit. It's my first time doing uh, a rainbow geode like this, so bear with me. Gonna figure it out. No. That sounds different. All right, I'm gonna let this live for just a minute and if we don't like it, I'm just gonna drop some ink in it and kind of let it relax and it should look cool in theory. In the meantime, moving on. I always put some kind of metallic down to give that interesting rock look in the outside edge. That's just kind of the style I've a, a, I almost said adapted instead of adopted and adapted. So that's fun, making up new words. I'm gonna try it with this one, just dropping some alcohol on it and seeing how it relaxes. In theory, the hot glue should retain everything. No promises though. Let's see how that works. Oh, I forgot I have some marabou rainbow. Thanks you guys. This is a new one. Hold on, I gotta snip the tip. Every time I tell you, every time it's, I think it's in my mouth. Like it's, it's everywhere. There's, there's no safe way to do that. I'm pretty sure. I don't even know if you guys can see the sparkle that's on that, but you will. I think that'll look pretty cool. 
And I think we're going to have to do something like that to this one because it is not looking cute. But we'll get there when we get there. So while those are relaxing, I'm going to dump out this mud water that we created. I'm going to do a lighter blue right here. Gold. I'm going to put a couple drops of the darker blue in there. Okay. Now we do just like we did before. Put a little bit of alcohol ink on our brush. This is almost looking like it's going to be a yellow one instead of a blue one because it's got so much gold in it. Don't make judgment calls on how much you like or don't like one of your geode pieces until it dries because you never know if it's going to do something awesome as it starts to, um, as the alcohol starts to evaporate. You never know what it may end up doing. I think I like that one. These look so much better in person. And once I give you guys like a different view and up close view, I think you'll like a lot of them better too. Uh, Hi, B. Thanks. We're getting rainbowy. <laughs> How does this? It looks like a little piggy turn into this. Okay. Boogie gain 900 pounds. Oh I'm also going to try out this aqua. I'm going to put some gold, not as much gold. And we'll add some marabou into the mix. You guys, marabou is amazing. It's awesome. It's beautiful. But you got to work quick with it because whatever binder is in it starts to activate really fast. And it kind of feels like it's like glue. Also, there was pink still left in my paintbrush. So there's that. Trying to fill in these little gaps. Cool. That's going to look great. Ugh. The, the marabou exploded on me. You don't even care. So when we do our geode together on Friday, I'm only going to use one like color scheme. I'm not going to use a whole bunch like this. It'll be a lot easier to follow. I'll probably work with maybe pinks and browns and golds. Feel free to work with whatever you guys feel comfortable with. Don't shake it before you snip the tip. 
No truer words. <gasps> Sue, this is that porcelain paper, and it is awesome. I've, I'm trying to order more, but lady's daughter is in the hospital, so I have to wait before I order it for my shop. But I've talked to her about uh, putting it in my shop, and she is all about it. So very excited about bringing the porcelain paper to the States. Yellow is just so hard to work with. Maybe I'll just pick up some of the pink that's leaking in right here. Just make it an orange. That's fun. Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. See, where are you going? Word. I think Marabou has more colors now than they used to, if I remember right. Just gonna pick up some of the red from this little corner. fun. I like having my geodes fade towards the center, but by all means, if that's not what you envision for your geodes, then don't do that. This one's still drying. Yep. I wonder if I put just a little bit of heat on it. Gotcha, Sue. No worries. Put a lot of ink in there. I haven't tested this paper in terms of um, it's durability with a bunch of heat. I don't think it's as like durable as a Yupo. As in it's probably going to warp a little bit if you use a lot of heat. So just keep that in mind. this be a little bit more like lime but it's sticking in the aqua family that's also fine this is a very loud and crazy geode not what I had planned when I started this but Roll with the punches, you know? You know? I think I might change this one to like a streaky looking one. Perfect for boho. Just not sold on this yellow one, so I'm gonna see what I can do to change it up a little bit. I'm 
I'm going to show you guys how easy this stuff is to pick up off the... All right, a little bit of alcohol. Like, it's the same color as this one almost. Bananas! I know, I know. So I'm not trying to pull it all off. I want to leave some of it because I'm going to just make it a streaky looking piece. In theory, if it still doesn't look good, I'm just going to throw a whole bunch of alcohol in it and, um, say that it was a choice. We'll find out together. I'm trying to lift out some of the inks as well. To leave some lighter spots, some relief areas, if you will. Oops. Cool. Now, what are we going to do with this one? Maybe we'll do a blue one that's just lines of color as well. But let's go this way. I don't know why I like this look. Someone, someone tell me why I like it. You guys are going to be like, I don't know. It doesn't even look that good. Also, if we really, really don't like how something looks, we'll just put a whole bunch of glitter glass on it and um, call it a day. Glitter glass is the like universal equalizer. Also, I think my rich gold has begun to set up. It's a kind of an older bottle. So what's y'all's favorite alcohol ink brand? Or do you have a favorite? All right, now we got to, well, let's do this little guy and then we'll address the um, craziness in the middle of this piece.
I just wanted to see if it would do anything. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do about this. I'm gonna do this and really hope it doesn't just turn to mud, but if it does, this paper is amazing and I can just lift out the ink if we don't like it. All right. If it could stay just like that, it would be amazing. I'm kind of trying to lift out some of the ink. Nope, some of the alcohol before it gets too far in the center and gets muddy. At least in theory, that's what I'm trying to do. In reality, I'm probably just pushing it more towards mud. But I'll have a good time doing it if that's what, in fact, I'm doing. All right, I'm just gonna leave that alone. And what's next? We need to seal it. Does the paper work like UPO? It is similar, but it is not exactly like UPO. All right, I need to get a paint pen. That's next on our stuff we need list. I'm going to use pen touch, but you can use whatever kind of pen you like. And on the ones that are dry, I'm going to just go over the lines of this. of our uh, hot glue and turn them gold. You can make them black, you can make them brown, whatever color floats your little boat, go for it. You can also use um, the Montana liquid gold or silver. That is silver. That is silver.
here's a gold. That's another thing you have to make sure you shake. Is he done working under the sink? This is what happened the other day. All right. Now I'm going to get a this. A little pointed paintbrush. If you're more comfortable working with um, the paint pen, by all means, stick with a paint pen. I don't mind working with the liquid because it'll kind of fall and surround the whole um, line of hot glue and I don't have to worry about getting in on the sides and all that it'll just kind of let gravity do the work for me it's easier if a uh, paint pen is easier for you by all means use whatever you're comfortable with Also, I feel like I'm faster with just um, this stuff. Sorry, I'm not reading y'all's questions. Ooh, a mermaid geode stained glass effect. I love that idea but I'm biased and I love all mermaid ideas. Also, the fact that we used 91% alcohol means that our alcohol that we left to just evaporate on its own will evaporate more quickly than if we used a lower percentage. It's another reason why I like to use higher percentage alcohols. And I feel like alcohol inks flow better with higher percentage alcohol. But if you can't find high percentage alcohol, well, try Everclear. But then if that doesn't work, then go with the lower percentage alcohols. you guys know I'm running a back to school sale on my website? I think there's one more day left on it for 15% off using the code. I think it's 2021. And I have this gold on my website. If you want to try a little tester size of it. Is that all of them? Sweet. You can also get crazy and add limes into your geodes if you so choose. This part may be easier with a paint pen for some, but cool. What's up, Rhonda? How you doing? How's your day? How's your life? How's everybody down there? 
If you guys don't know, that's Rhonda with RK3 Design. She is brilliant. And if you are looking to do any kind of like countertop deal or just want to watch a very entertaining show, check out Rhonda's channel and her live feeds on today. She'll be live on Facebook at M7. I don't know why I keep getting six and seven mixed up on her live feeds, but um, look for our K3 designs on Facebook and then hopefully you'll get notifications when she goes live. Uh, she's pretty hilarious. Rhonda, what are you doing on your live today? Uh, it's okay, Bowie. It's okay. It's okay. Girl cat decided to jump up and um, scared Bowie a little bit. Come on, baby. Sorry about that. It's like people know when I go live. And that's when they like to call. Okay. I just had to pick up these um, inks, and then we can move on to making things sparkly. <laughs> oh, now you want to get down, girl cat, after you scare off my precious little boy dog? Cool. Just want to make sure everything is completely dry. You got to really watch in these little corners under the um, hot glue sometimes. It takes a little longer for those areas to dry. But I think everyone's pretty much good. All right, now I need to seal it with my spray that I hope I didn't leave down at Rhonda's. Matt, okay. I have another one. So when you do alcohol inks, whether you're going to seal them with resin or not, use UV Archival from Krylon in Matt. It will protect everything. So this could be a finish all by itself. But I'm going to keep going. Rounder to coolest. The coolest. Okay, so this is going to protect your inks from fading as well as uh, if you use alcohol. Nope. If you use resin, it'll keep your inks from kind of reactivating under your resin. Make sure you use matte because the gloss has alcohol in it and it'll reactivate your ink. We do need that on a shirt. I know a shirt guy. Oh, key dokey. Why is it that your runoff always looks better than your piece? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, Rhonda, I have to show you. Um, I already showed you my new glitter. Since Kenny likes Halo. You may like this glitter. I have it on order. Okay. So this is good. Now I'm going to use some sizing. So Rhonda, those are the same glitters. I just have them over 
a pink resin and over a, um, what color is that? Teal resin. This is what it actually looks like. Doesn't look like it'd be all that amazing, does it? But it is. Hold on. Flash. the same. It's the same. How does it still make a rainbow no matter how you look at it? I need answers. How? How does it make a rainbow? Someone tell me the science. Okay, moving on. I'm using this uh, sizing. You can use any kind of glue that you have that won't yellow. So I'm going to pick my least favorite ones, and then I'm going to put this on it. Then I'm going to coat my this with glitter glass, and it makes everything better. I'm telling you, glitter is always an option. All else fails, add glitter. Unless you're working with resin, all else fails, swipe, then add glitter. There's a method to the madness, people. It's made by leprechauns. That's probably true. Now, I'm using glitter glass. This stuff is actually glass, so it will cut you if you're not careful, respect the glitter glass. The sizing dries fairly quickly. It goes on kind of a milky white color and then once it's clear, it's ready to put stuff on it. But I'm just putting stuff on it because it's going to dry. Um, let's put some on this guy. Just gonna put like a um, not a ring. What's it called? Words are hard. A something. I'm gonna put a something on it, and then glitter glass rim. That's not. That's not right. I just put a lot on there, and then once it sets, I'm going to dump it off. Bye, Rhonda. Have an awesome day. Thanks for coming in. You're finishing up the 15-foot geo table. It looks awesome. Uh, also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. We need you. I'm going to see if that... Um, Crazy glitter will work on here if it will just turn like gray. So I'm just gonna use this sticky pen from Deco Foil. I craft Deco Foil. It says adhesive pen, but it's a sticky pen. And it dries pretty quickly, but I wanna wait till it's tacky before I try to put glitter on it because then I won't ruin my brush with a whole bunch of stickiness. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's gonna work and be amazing. <gasps> Y'all, can I just put this back in here or too late? Yes. I may have found my new favorite glitter. How, how does it work? Anyways, I'm going to get all wrapped up. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to do a couple more of those in my other, in my other these. Cool. Cool. This is a sample jar. It's on order. I have it on the way. I just hadn't used it yet because I wasn't sure what kind of sorcery was included. Look at this, it's like magic. It's in route though. Okay, I don't know why my camera is being an actual B word. What kind of sorcery? Look at that. I could just sit here and do that all day and be a happy camper. You guys, if you're a fan of Halo, this is going to be your new jam. Look at that. How does it change color? Someone tell me the science. Oh, Desiree got the science. What's up, Gail? I mean, I know you just told me how, but also, how? Okay, okay. Um, let's do one on here because I don't want anyone to feel left out from the awesome. Can I just bathe in this stuff or no? Shiny ball syndrome. I love it. Oh, you had to look it up. Like, why can't, you know that show how it's made? Why can't they do something like chameleon paint or holographic glitter? Like, why isn't that a how it's made? Instead of, I don't know, conveyor belts or any other kind of nonsense that they end up having on there. To be fair, we watch how it's made. It's like I'm just rubbing magic onto this geode. Anything that I didn't like about it. I'm just putting 
this magic glitter. How? Why and how? What dances with art barks? Way to flex. You get a cut of that? Also, can you send me some um, colors? Can he just come be a guest on my channel so we can discuss? Can I just wear this all over myself? Are you even close up? Yes, I want it all over myself. Oh my goodness, I for real would wear this. Uh, he's not talking to me, if you guys can hear Jeffrey. I'm just going to be useless the rest of my life. I'm just going to sit here and look at this glitter. Okay, let's dump off the glitter glass. Let's close up this magic before I lose it. B, come look at my this. Look at it right here. Yeah. Wow. That stuff is amazing. Kenny's going to be like, give it to me. Oh, I want to bathe in it. Oh, Kenny. I was like, who's Kitty? Kitty cat. Oh, no shoes on in the studio. That's not even me. I don't know who you're talking to. All right. This is all. 91%. Good. Are Good. There was a minute where we couldn't find that stuff yeah, anywhere. That's when you're like, who's an alcohol? Oh, you know what else? I brought some glitter spray to make it even more dazzling. In momento, poor favor. See. Uh, something. Here. This is glitter body spray from Krylon in the shade, not as amazing as the glitter we just used, but. This is regular. Silver glitter. I need. I remember there's alcohol in that, so. I've already sealed it. Just knocking down some of the residual glitter. Now it looks a little bit more clean. All right, so now when you look at it, like in the middle where we didn't have any glitter, there's this slight sheen of glitter. Not as cool as this. Nothing will be ever as cool as this, but also there's some sparkle. For the record, eh, there's still some sparkle there, but it's what it looks like. And it's body safe. But I like to put it on my alcohol ink pieces to add subtle sparkle. So 
So that is crazy. It's a little bit more aggressive, darker palette than I usually use for my geodes. Let me show you another one that I just did. If you guys are new to the Chanel. Did this one. And then last week we did this one on the live. Uh, a mermaid tail covered in this glitter would stop the biggest of ships. What's up, Sharon? Anyways, I'm ordering some of this, so y'all keep your eyes peeled for it. No idea the price point, but since they sent it to me in such a small jar, I'd imagine that it will be somewhere in the chameleon price range. However, I don't know. So I will find the most affordable way to get it to you guys. How bananas. I have questions. I need answers. Yeah. Anyways, you guys. Judy. I really appreciate you guys coming in and. Oh, Desiree, it's absolutely makeup grade glitter. I also have this other sample, but it's way more fine. I'm going to have to find a, an application for this stuff because it doesn't look the same as that first one because that's just bonkers. So thank you guys so, so much for coming in and seeing what I'm up to today. I hope you learned something. I hope you decide to get some ink so you can art along with me on Friday at 6 p.m. Central, I'll be doing another geode slice piece similar to this one and this one. I hope you guys art along with me. Any inks will do. Just have some rubbing alcohol and um, your favorite alcohol inks. And come art with me. Anyways, you guys, I got to run. I've got orders to put out, but I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. Please subscribe, share our videos with your friends. If you liked it or share it with people you don't like, if you didn't like it, make them suffer too. And, um, uh-oh. What's funny? Maybe it is part of my speech. Is this a... Look at all that marabou I wasted. All on these cedar floors. Mm -hmm. not coming up. Look at Will. Come up with alcohol. Anyways, you guys. I gotta walk these two littles, but I will see you later. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Sue. Right after I walk the boys. So anyways, you guys. Have an awesome day. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. Ew. So you don't have to. Y'all are awesome. We love you guys so, so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. That's it. Bye. <gasps> yes, big boy. Calm down. Calm down. Are you the cutest? Who told you to be so cute? Was it your dad? <gasps> it was your dad. Do you want a present? You do want a present. Are you the cutest one? You are. <laughs> okay, okay, okay.